So the next topic is miscarriage and what causes it. And the simple rule of thumb is AD20. About 80% of the time, the embryo itself is the reason for the miscarriage. The embryo simply stops growing. Often this is due to chromosomal abnormalities in the embryo, but there can be other developmental issues that cause the embryo to stop. And often patients present for an ultrasound, they're not bleeding, they're not cramping, but they find, unfortunately, on ultrasound that the baby isn't continuing to grow. There may be a gestational sac and no fetus, or there's a fetus but no heartbeat, or there is a heartbeat for a, sh a short time at seven or so weeks, and then a week or two later, the heartbeat stops. And again, about 80% of these are embryo in origin. The other 20%, of course, would be uterine factors, and there are a list of factors on the uterine side that can cause miscarriage, such as a congenital anomaly with the uterus. The uterus can be unicornuate, septate, bicornuate. In other words, you were born with the uterus that's malshapen. Or the condition can be acquired. You can develop fibroids, <clears throat> polyps, scarring in the uterus from prior surgery, a thin uterine lining, and that these conditions can adversely affect the uterus. And then there's other blood tests we do, uh, a test called antiphospholipid antibodies. This is a screen for immune problems that can lead to miscarriage. Of course, your thyroid function, um, your general health in terms of your blood count, your chemistry panel, even vitamin D levels are checked. But if this workup on the uterine side reveals no abnormalities, then we assume most miscarriages are the embryo. And indeed, we developed here at CCRM chromosomal screening of embryos. And when we take patients with recurrent miscarriage, three or more miscarriages, and we make sure their uterus tests normal, we then transfer an embryo that we've tested and we know is chromosomally normal to begin with. The miscarriage rate's only 5%. So you can see we eliminate the vast majority of miscarriages by assuring that we start with a chromosomally healthy embryo before the pregnancy begins. I hope that helps.